Hi guys, it's Joanne, and I wanted to try something different. So I am using my Sony camcorder, and um, my hubby bought me a new tripod. So I'm trying this out for the first time over my desk. And it's kind of annoying me because this white part of my desk is showing, and I'm really type A when it comes to like weird stuff on the screen. So I tried to cover it with my Martha Stewart craft mat, but just looks weird so anyway let me just do like this anyway today I wanted to share with you guys um, a couple of recent stuff recent things I've received in the mail um, happy mail I guess you can say so let's um, get started and I want to show you what I got because I don't even know what I remember what I got so I actually picked up from um, scrapbook.com if you can remember from my birthday um, rack birthday gift from my um, BFF. She got me a gift certificate to scrapbook.com. So I picked up a couple of things. I picked up this um, Tim Holtz Ideology Standing Grip. I don't have one, so I thought that would be kind of neat. I know I could probably get this at Michael's with a coupon, but I thought I'd add this to my cart. And then I picked up this um, Graphic 45 Magic of Oz paper pad. I've seen this all over YouTube. I wasn't really going to get it. I still have my um, Alice in Wonderland one that I haven't used yet, but I don't know. I really love um, Wizard of Oz. It's one of my favorite um, childhood books and stories, so I wanted to pick it up anyway. Let's see what I can do with it. I'm not sure yet. It's kind of not my style, but I thought the images were really pretty, and I really like um, just the way everything looks. In it, but we'll see what I can do with it, guys. And then I picked up this um, Coronations cardstock um, Tim Holtz Distress Collection. I don't have any Coronations cardstock, so I thought it'd be kind of neat to see if what I can do with it. I kind of like the color core. You can see that, and um, yeah, I thought that would be neat to use, especially with all that Tim Holtz stuff that I um, purchased over the past few months. So, yay for that. So that's my scrapbook.com haul. And then I picked up some stuff at allthatscraps.com. I don't know if I was having a moment or what, but um, I can't remember if they were having a sale. So I just thought I'd um, get a few things. Oh yeah, they were having a sale. That's why. So, I picked up another Graphic 45, um, two of them. Wait, let me show you this. Ugh, I don't know if you can hear my garage door. My husband is working on stuff downstairs. Um, I picked up this one. This one is the Lister Collection. I'm really going to try to challenge myself to get into doing mini books a little bit more, so I thought that was cute. Um, I think they're clearancing out, all that scrap was clearancing out all their, um, Graphic 45 stuff, so I got this for, like, you know, six bucks. And it's usually not six bucks, as you all know, so. And then I picked up, um, Christmas Emporium. I thought it'd be perfect for Christmas. A Christmas mini book, and then this one was also, I think, six bucks. And then, um, I picked up, uh, Paper Smooches, um, Fruitastic set. This one was on sale also eight bucks I think I'm not sure but um I love paper smooches and I love their their little um, fonts for their um, sentiments so pick this one up too pick up some pick up the I love clouds so I picked up the clouds die from CC designs and I picked up the spooky fence um, CC die designs cutter pick those up too because I thought this would be cute for um, Halloween cards but it would also be cute for spring it doesn't have to be spooky I think you can see that um, I picked up some like little test tubes to try them out these were also on sale but I thought these would be cute for like other projects besides cards and layouts because you guys know that I mostly do cards and layouts but I want to challenge myself to do more um, 3D projects show my range right and I picked more of them up, so. And then I picked up some mini brads because these were on sale. I can't, I think they were less than a dollar each, so. I gotta add these to my um, brads jars. And then I picked up, uh, well, if you could see in here, 
You see that? <laughs> I picked up um, eight and a half by 11 chipboard sheets. They were clearing those out too. So yay for me. What else did I get? I can't remember. Oh, I got, um, I went to the dollar store today and I, because with the intention of getting, um, I went after work and I worked all weekend, um, every night for the past three nights. And I, um, went because I wanted to get sugar shakers because I've seen it in Paper Craft Magazine and I've seen it on YouTube to, um, they were using, um, sugar shakers to hold twine. So I picked up like 10 of these sugar shakers and, um, it was hard because they didn't have this, I wanted them all to match. So they had this style but some of them had the actual shaker like with the perforated holes and I wanted them all to match and I just wanted the little the little lip the little door that comes up so um, I think I cleared them out because I was like well I might as well just get all of them because watch watch I'm just gonna get what I need and then go back when I get need more and it's not going to be there so I picked up 10 of these and I'm doing with them because I saw a paper craft magazine and on YouTube, I've seen people hold their twine like that. So, ta-da, I could pull this out and then they'll just wrap. This is also good because my kids like to touch everything in my scrapbook room. Let me just tell you, do you know how many times my kids love to unspool my twine or ribbon or any of that stuff? So, hello. This is working out for me so far, hopefully. So, I have to work on getting these all together. So, I think I have like six spools of twine and I picked up 10 of these. So, yay for that. And I want to share with you a birthday um, little surprise goodie that I received from my friend Amber, who um, I work with on the Birthday Sundays design team. And it was really nice that she sent me something. I think um, her family and her um, got hit hard with that flood on the East Coast. And so um, it was really just nice for her to think of me and send me something amidst all that chaos and stuff so thank you amber i can't wait to see what it is so it's a uh, i didn't open it yet so it says hi joe happy belated birthday sorry this is so late with all the chaos around here i just haven't made it to the post office hope your birthday month was fabulous love amber yay and then that, give me a card let me see Ugh. okay oh she made me the hello kitty card look at how cute that is Hi, Hello Kitty. Thank you, Amber. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I love Hello Kitty. No. One day isn't enough to celebrate someone as wonderful as you. Let's party all week, Amber. I hope you had a great day. Thanks for inviting me to play party or blog hop. Yeah, so I had a blog hop on my blog. I invited a few friends, crafty friends online to celebrate with me and create some cards and gain some followers, hopefully. So, yeah, that was really uh, neat that people came to play and join us. And I gave away um, some goodies. Oh my gosh, look how sweet she is. She gave me, sent me some twine and some uh, die cuts with a view mat stack. That's so sweet. Thank you, Amber. I really love that. I love the colors. They're like soft muted blues and purples and greens. And it's so sweet of her. Like I said, with all the stuff that's going on around her. And I can't thank everyone enough to that, um... They're just so sweet and warm in the crafty world, and it's just really nice. Um, what else would I want to share with you today? Oh, I want to share with you some um, recent cards. I know some of you guys don't visit my blog, so I want to share with you some recent projects before I put them away. Um, this is a card that I made for um, Paper Smooches Sparks, the um, challenge blog for Paper Smooches Stamps. Um, their challenge was a inspiration challenge with a photo and had a onesie, a pink onesie and a blue background. So I incorporated it with, um, like an actual scene. So I have this little, um, onesie that I cut with my new arrival Cricut cartridge, um, and the hangers from that cartridge too. And then these clouds are from Paper Tray Ink, um, Clouds Dyes, I think. And then this is a Martha Stewart Grass Punch and this is all Echo Park paper. And the sentiment is paper smooches. So I also created this card for a design team call that they're having. Um, I don't know if I'll get it. But it's nice to try, right? So, 
yay for that. I also, well, I want to show you this one because it's got, coming up. Um, I, I'm hosting, well, I've, I'm on Featured Friday for last Friday's um, Skipping Stone design. Um, every Friday we take turns from the design team to showcase a card we made using the Featured set of the month. And so my set was, um, well, the set last month was Happy Halloween-y. Is it done? Mm -hmm. Okay, well then I'll put it on in a second. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, let me do this quickly. My son is getting really antsy. So I use a Happy Halloween set, and then this is um, all basic gray um, Ooh, eerie collection. Backyard okay. winter. Winter. Okay, I'll be down there. Okay? And then I made this little um, treat bag for the sketch last week, and it's a... Uh, I used a sketch to create my front. And then... It says, someone who thinks you're very dear has booed you with so Halloween cheer. Now take this note and make a copy or two. Add fun and treats. Any goodies will do. Leave it on their stoop and make it quick. Keep your booing a secret. That's the trick. So it's a little treat bag. You can stick treats in here. And then, I don't know, use it for a little... You could make this cute and use it for a little uh, <coughs> school thing or co-worker thing. But even a neighbor, but we don't really know our neighbors, but I thought that was cute. And then this week is um, a ribbon challenge over at Birthday Sundays. Um, that's S-U-N-D-A-E-S dot blogspot.com. It's their challenge this week is to use ribbon. upstairs. Okay, I will in just one second. And so my ribbon is this velour ribbon that has scalloped edges, so I thought this looked like a K um, trim. So I did that around the edges. This is, is a CC design. No, I don't know why it's raining. And then this um, image is a digital image from CC Designs at alldatscraps.com. That is it. That's my recent projects. Um, I gotta make this quick. Like I said, my my voice getting antsy. So, um, thank you so much for visiting me today, and I hope you have a great week. It's starting to rain here in California. Boo. Hope it's nice and sunny for Halloween. But thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.